Hello everyone and welcome to another stream. My name is Hubert and well today we're gonna do something uh, we haven't done before at least on this channel. Uh, to give it some context in like 2017-2018 I was doing some random development streams pretty much daily when I was just you know, randomly <laughs> doing something in Unity with the game, and well, this is how the game actually, how the project began. It was a uh, project for my that I did with my viewers on my YouTube channel, and today this is some sort of an experiment. I'm not sure if that's something we want to get back into, but I wanted to make at least one stream. It was like a spontaneous idea, quickly conducted marketing. They were okay with it, and I wanted to to to, to see if that's something uh, that's gonna click. <laughs> if that's something we want to have uh in the future no more no more longer hair i still have my hair it, uh, they're just in a pony i actually realized yesterday that when i put my hair in the ponytail uh, and well put my headphones on i look like i have my old haircut <laughs> but yeah so hello everyone once again and well just to uh but a fair warning, I suppose. Uh, this is going to be a highly technical stream. Uh, it's primarily targeted for, you know, programmers, other programmers, or maybe people who want to see how game development works uh, behind the curtain. But it's certainly not something that everyone <laughs> is going to enjoy, since it's going to be a very long stream with fairly little features. Uh, that are actually like presented or progressed. Uh, there are obviously going to be a few smaller uh, things that I'm about to reveal that haven't been revealed before. These are rather small details and they're not like super excited, so I'm not trying to, to say that only to... I'm not, I'm not trying to oversell <laughs> this stream right now. I'm just saying it's totally fine if you find this stream boring. This is... We, we'll be doing regular streams as well. Uh, again, this is some sort of an experiment that I wanted to try. I won't be sad even if there is only like 10 people remaining after an hour or something. <laughs> That's totally fine. Um, and is that everything? Do I have everything covered? This stream is under the CC by SA license, so if you have like a YouTube channel and if you want to make like a... If you want to take the interesting parts of this stream and put it in a video and put it on YouTube, that's totally fine. So uh, feel free to do so. It's probably even better for us because at least it's more digestible to the <laughs> majority of people. Um, like the Gould 2017 streams, exactly. I saw the source code Pog. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I'll be showing the source code. It's not going to show any <laughs> security systems, but the front end stuff, which is actually found after recompiling the game, which isn't uh, too much of a security risk. Let me just open up Visual Studio. Uh, I'm dealing with it right now. I maybe should have done that before. All right, everything seems to be set up, so I think we're good to switch to... Um, check if the correct monitor is being set. It is, but I can immediately tell that... Yeah, I got in a new monitor and I had to rescale it. Um, I'm not sure how much should I zoom in. Uh, tell me when it's readable. Is like code like that, is it completely readable? Is it is it fine on your screens or should I uh, zoom it in further? Yo, what's up, Lion? Good, that's that's Pog. Let Narler out of your basement. We haven't spoke to Narler in a while. Uh, most of the Cassie messages that have been added over the course of the past updates were just remixes of existing sounds, because when you have like a solid database of, of sounds, you can just combine them together uh, in order to create new words. Uh, I may show you that later, but for now I wanted to show you what I have been working on and what we'll be working on today. So, <clears throat> for those who are not aware, we are uh, currently doing something called CCM Refactor, which effectively means that we are reworking pretty much the biggest system in the game, rewriting it from pretty much scratch. And uh, what that means is that every single role needs to be re-implemented. On the previous stream, I have already shown what's the status of the uh, of the CCM refactor, and back then we only had like the tutorial role with nothing else. Uh, since that stream, there were a few other changes. Voice chat has been re-added. One seven three has been re-implemented. Um, many of the STPs that we are about to to add are gonna have something called a soft rework. Soft rework meaning that the serve that the SCPs will look the same, 
it will effectively keep the core mechanics, but it will be refactored, uh, or refactored, reworked mechanically um, in a way that different abilities will be changed, different details will be improved. And this way, is it fine if I show it? Because technically it's part of a Patreon post that we posted like a few days ago. So I'm not sure if that's something we want to show. Uh, Lion, if you're here, let me know if like, I can show some of the 173 changes. Actually, I can't any anywhere. Well, I can just explain to you that... Uh, there are like, Well, you can immediately see the, the Hume Shields changes. But uh, as we are rewriting those classes, there is no reason not to improve already existing features. And that's essentially what's been happening over the course of a few... Uh, months and for now we have scp173 the tutorial or human classes i mean they're not activated right now but they will work just as well as the tutorial there is the voice chat working correctly i can oh i'm gonna show something i can actually hear myself on the radio when i speak you can hear it here that's this minor thing, but there are also a few other uh, stuff. For more details, you can um, see our Patreon post. There's a lot of exciting features in regards to that. I'm only going to sh show a few ones. Um, for example, the 173 roll. I'm not sure if I can actually... Uh, let me disable the script. Maybe this will allow me to... Uh, stir. Oh, didn't hit enter. So... Um, when I'm being looked at, I can teleport normally. When I activate my ability, you can see it becomes uh, more like... Uh, what's the word for that? Like etheric? Etheric? Whatever. Like, it's... it's Oh, oh yeah, no, never mind. I, my ability got, uh, got disabled because of... I was looking... I was being looked at. But yeah. Um, so this is essentially what, what it is. It just indicates that uh, I am not able to kill anyone because it is... Uh, the the, the breakneck speed ability is active, opaque, more actually like transparent. <laughs> but yeah, if if I were within a kill range of another person, this uh, teleporter, <laughs> this this thingy would change its color. I'm not sure if I can trigger it manually. I can here, so it would change color to slightly more oranges. It would be much brighter. Uh, I think I can you that here so this is the regular one and this is the kill one so you can see it has a slightly slight color change which indicates if you're within the kill range because i know that sometimes people want to like teleport very close to the player but not actually kill them they just want to scare them away so this is a few a small improvement there are also like other improvements in regards to teleporting on slopes not sure if that was possible in a uh, previous version but now you can teleport say on here over on the on the handrail or whatever you want to call it you can also teleport onto slopes Previously, you only could teleport onto uh, flat surfaces. And yeah, things like that have effectively been changed. Uh, small improvements, not no major reworks. Uh, and the same rule applies to SCP-079, which I have been working on recently and which I would like to continue with you. So this is how the new interface looks like. Right now, there's only one camera. Uh, there is no teleportation, as you can see here. The the text is actually fake. It's like hard coded right now. You, you can't really. It doesn't change if I teleport to another room, even though there is no room. There's no map that I can open, so that text is a lie. The the SCP-079 is being pretty much rewritten, and as you can hear, probably in the background. There is now sounds when the camera moves, um, and I can also zoom in and out. And different cameras will have different noises, different zoom settings. Um, kind of going ahead of myself, but yeah. Uh, what we gotta do right now? Uh, what, what did I stop on? I, I stopped. The last thing I did was changing, uh, making the access tier bar uh, being updated. So when I uh, I actually added a command called SCP or uh, add 079 XP uh, and when I say like 50 you can see that the slider updates I'm gonna make it quieter 
and then when I get 100 it resets to 0 and I have access tier 1, previously it was 0 so that's small bug fix that I need to change because computers generally count from 0 and uh, this is what it displays over here in order to make it more uh, human readable uh, we need to simply add 1 which is something that we'll fix in just a second um, and yeah I mean I'm sorry in advance, but I'm not very experienced at streaming on Twitch, so if I miss any kind of... Um, what are the names of those? Uh, I can see that Terran Hawk cheered 100 bits. I, I'm honestly not really sure what that means. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, but I actually not, I'm not an active Twitch user. I'm not even an active Twitch streamer. I'm not even a viewer on Twitch. I, don't, I hardly ever watch streams, so I'm not entirely sure what, what that means, what that is, but... Thanks anyway, and I can also see people uh, following us. So yeah, thank you to everyone who just started following us. I was I used to be a YouTube streamer. I used to stream a lot, like I said at the beginning, but <laughs> Twitch is a completely different thing for me. Never got around it. But yeah. Uh, one bit is one cent. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, so that's that seems to be it. it means money. Fog. money is good <laughs> um, so yeah I think we could just start with it so this uh, interface there is a prefab in our in our folder in the request server groups no longer uh, I'm not uh, the CCM uh, the non character class management part of CCM has not been touched so it's still the same it's backend so go better them I'm development I am I'm game play programmer I'm focusing on what's accessible to players so what you're asking me is probably a backend command used for if I were to guess it's probably about uh, the server roles but no it's not something that I am doing YouTube streamer it was 2016 and 2017, all right? It was still popular. It was still before TikTok and everything. <laughs> Nowadays, people won't watch anything that's longer than a minute. But yeah. <laughs> um, so, what did I... Oh, yeah. I, now I remember. So, there is a script here called tier GUI or GGUI. Or I'm not sure how you actually pronounce that but graphic user interface and this is the script that controls uh, displaying the current level and we have the access tier here um, and we just need to change the index to um, level there it is i already made this property before it's, it essentially just returns uh, the current index plus one which works for our application and yeah and that should fix it uh, I'm not normally I wouldn't even check it but I just wanted to show you <laughs> that it works uh, but it is gonna work is it fine uh, let, let me actually see that right now while the unity is launching um, uh, request server what, what was that oh sh <laughs> interesting whoa okay you know what i'm happy i mean it's it's no longer the case it's only like 700 it used to be like 2000 i'm happy i have this uh logitech mouse where i can just unlock the scroll and just with a single pull of a finger i can just scroll through the entire thousands of lines of documents which uh, was necessary before fortunately this document has been broken down to like 700 lines which is still a lot it's just it still should be broken down further <clears throat> But all that remains here is just backend stuff like authentication, server roles, and confirm disconnect. Why would you need a confirmation for disconnect? Heck is that? I'm I'm looking at this code. Partially it's mine, but what remains here is mostly from other backend programmers, and I'm. Um, I was kind of afraid to delete that because I'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything anymore It's an old authentication system and it probably doesn't do anything, but I I'm not touching it. All right I I'm just closing it and I hope that, I'll that I won't have to look at that file anytime soon So this is what I do. I'll try to bother <laughs> the stream is sponsored by Logitech. It's not it's just it's a good mouse 
thing. I, all my mouse scroll, like the only reason I bought this mouse is because of scroll, not because I knew it was unlockable, it's because this mouse is literally marketed for its scroll. And I had like four mouses for mice, computer mice, I guess is the plural form. Uh, and all of those broke because of scroll. The scroll either fell out of the plastic uh, bearings, I don't know, really bearings, there was like. It, it, it just broke like four times. So I decided to buy a mouse that uh, has a well a good scroll and it does anyway so now you can see we have access tier one which is uh, good and when I do add 079 XP uh, 150 for example then you can see access tier two and we have 50 XP onto that because 100 was consumed on leveling up and that seems to be working now you can see that the auxiliary power is uh, stuck at a 80 out of 100 that's because it's a fake it's a placeholder it doesn't uh, work at all right now and when i go to 079 and there's already an ox uh, ox ox i think it's pronounced ox manager the auxiliary power you can see it goes to a hundred and is it supposed to stay at a hundred or continue growing oh, i can Oh yeah, I'm level 2, so it stays at 110. So this is working fine, we just need to make it display at the value, and when I level up... There we go, I'm level 3 now. And it keeps growing uh, until it reaches 125, perfect. When I go to... Uh, maximum tier 5, you can see it regenerates much faster because the speed is faster and the aux is gonna stop at 200 so everything is working perfectly i'm not sure if it synchronizes correctly but at least server side mechanics are uh working correctly mana yeah i mean pretty sure it's still described as mana in the yeah something like mana i i <laughs> made a documentation all right so this seems to be okay That's some documentation, and then now all we have to do is just well, copy one of those scripts and make it work, make it display the auxiliary power. There are a few interesting features um, that I wanted to implement, but uh, for now let's just focus on the basic stuff. So it's an MMORPG. The, the previous system used levels, XP, and, uh, and mana. Uh, as the keywords for it. Alright, so... Doom tier... Let's let's duplicate the 079 tier, because it's actually going to be a similar screw. I'm not sure if I... Since there's only two bars, I'm not sure if there's a point in making a third um, class that's just going to handle, handle the... Oh yeah, it's, there's no point because it's going to be a completely different thing. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna rename it to um, Aux Guai. Let's just say that this is the pronunciation. Uh, and what do I need here? Oh, I hate when Unity just. I'm probably gonna have to restart Unity because so I don't know what what it's, what it's caused by, but when Unity compi uh, finishes compiling, it just re refocuses focuses on itself, which is uh, a bit annoying. But yeah, I don't know about that. So what we need here is to get a reference to our SCP-079 Ox GUI, uh, Ox Manager. And that seems to be okay. Next year, that's fine. I miss the fine electro swing in the background, we are number one remix when someone donated. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if how like how much of a DMCA is a problem in uh, in Twitch, if they're gonna like take down or mute the entire stream. I know that on YouTube they would just uh, remove monetization and show ads that are going to uh, be sent to the owners, the holders of the copyright. But in case of Twitch, I don't want to risk it. I'm not sure what I, what's actually going to happen when I play uncopyrated copyrighted music. You're saying <laughs> GUI instead of GUI? 
is bothering me. How am I supposed to pronounce it? GUI is too long. It's GUI now. <laughs> okay? It's GUI. Say whatever you want. You can cry about it. Okay, so... Um, that is fine. I'm not sure if the UI dirty is a thing that I want to do now. Let me see. Uh, let, let, let's, let's get this part. Let's remove that part. Yeah, I think we can just remove it. It's not really necessary because it's there's only very there's a few uh, things to to change. So we're gonna have text normal and text inverted. Huh? I should have. Nah, that's fine. Or is it not? Should I make a subclass because this is similar to the previous one? I mean, if I'm wondering, then the answer is probably yes, but we're gonna go, f it's a simple enough script just to make it like that for now. So... Fine. Either... let just update it as... Okay equals to aux manager current aux divided by uh, maximum aux max per line Put it like that and use that value over here to avoid repetition the documentation uh, maximum amount of auxiliary power on the current level okay and let's go back to our uh, GUI controller <laughs> and aux manager max aux and this should oh I'm stupid should be a string that should be it. Mm, should we make it a format? I suppose we could make it a format. <sighs> All right. Oh, I can see already that people are arguing about programming stuff. That's perfect. That, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to see some programmers. <laughs> I want to see programmers trying to argue about which programming language is best. Because the winner is clearly C Sharp. Only because I'm used to it. Are you gonna add in-game keyboard binding for 12.0? Oh, there's already this. Oh, in-game keyboard. Um, I don't know. It was one of the plans. I'm not sure if it's still if we're gonna have time for that. But if not 12.0, then probably like 12.1 or two or maybe 13.0. We'll see. Okay. Uh, is it working now? It's not because I forgot to set it up. Come on. I hate when Unity like takes longer to disconnect than to actually reconnect. And I checked it in pre profiler, it's actually Unity taking so long, not anything in the game. There's no like complex destroyed process. Just taking super long to initiate. Um right, so let's give our mana slider as it is over here. Um we'll put it here. Ox Gui. Uh, sounds weird when I say it actually. So that the inverted text and our image, which I suppose is this. I hope it's this, is it? It is. Bog. Alright. Uh, Polish labels are still in project. That's uh, surprising. Which Polish labels? Oh yeah, the, these Polish labels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Well, there's a lot of things that need to be removed from that uh, project. I, I believe we even have a um, an asset. I'm not sure if that was a paid asset or a, a free asset that removes that that checks all unused assets and tries to remove them. Project stripping. So uh, we need to use it one day. <laughs> the project is getting big, and most of that is unused content. Like we we need we're gonna do the CCM refactor first because that's a big system. And once this is finished, we're gonna have a lot of unused assets that we could strip. Because right now, many of those assets are not used, but because they haven't been re-implemented, so there's no point in running it now. Although it would probably speed up the process <laughs> at the end of the day. Uh, oh, that is... Okay, yeah. So we forgot to... Well, I forgot to put a rounding on it, or more like a flooring on it. But it seems to be working. So, I'm not sure if I noticed, but it looks like when I go to spectator, it keeps growing. So I'm gonna wait here for a while and see if it keeps growing. No, it doesn't. Alright, that's fine. Although it did seem that I didn't start at zero, but rather at a larger, larger value I'm maybe seeing things, but... Oh, that seems to be working, and I'm not sure why the slider is actually so uh, large. Oh, it's because I'm not updating the slider yet. Okay, that would make sense. So the slider fill amount should equal to current value divided by max value. And we are gonna put the current value as floor. To make it floored. So it doesn't have the decimal numbers, decimal points. C sharp is fine. C sharp is boring, though. I'm not sure what languages aren't boring, uh, unless you're talking about something used for learning languages. Very sure, like lang. Any programming language is boring to some extent because it's essentially trying to explain to the computer what it's supposed to do with very simple language, very simple instructions. The emoji programming language, yeah, I suppose the emoji programming language would be an example of not boring <laughs> language, certainly, but not necessarily something that I would like to, to work with. Nice! Seems to be working. Let's get to... Yo, Tony, what's up? Alright, and at the max level, you can see that the regeneration is quite fast. No too much. Uh, this is not a teaser, by the way. This is just... This has been in the game like that for a while. Uh, it's a placeholder. In this SCP, it's not getting added. Even if the if it was, that would be weird. But yeah. Um, what is the difference between borderless window and maximalized window? Right now, I'm assuming there is none. But I think like in the in 11.2, there is going to be. A, we're gonna make it so one of those options is going to make it so the window does not lose focus focus when you uh, click away from it. That's going to be the key difference here. Um, yeah. <laughs> one has borders and one doesn't. I mean, none of them have borders, but yeah. Borderless full screen added. There's already borderless full screen. Full screen. It's already a thing. Um. Okay. Did you mean to say eleven point two point one? Uh, no. I meant to say twelve point oh. Um, can we get half screen window? Alright, <laughs> maybe we should just continue. Hi Glizzy. Um, so what is next? Because honestly, I feel like I implemented everything <laughs> that I that I can for one camera. Right now we are talking about things... Oh, I know, logging. Logging should be a thing. I want to have a nice uh, information when I'm getting XP and auxiliary power and a new level or whatever. And it would be nice to have some kind of sound 
for it to give players more hints that it's that it's that something is happening and yeah camera shooting laser beams that deal 100,000 damage yes level 6 we're gonna make it so at uh, access tier 6 079 gets uh, a mech that it can control walk the facility and shoot everyone It's funny because it sounds like an overpowered idea, but if you manage to get to level 5 and level 6, for that matter, then you're probably a better use as the computer than you are as a mech. Because I realize that many, many people would probably prefer to control a, a mech and shoot people directly, but if you really think about it, <laughs> 079, if it reaches tier 5, it means that it's probably good enough that no other SCP can... Uh, well, no mech can justify uh, changing that, that transformation. <laughs> Although it would be very cool, admittedly. Right, um, let's get started, shall we? Let's just make the... Uh, I'm not sure how I want to handle it exactly. I imagine that there's gonna be like a little um, command, command prompt, or I don't even know how to describe it. Like... There's going to be a typing animation, and I'm still not sure how I want to handle it exactly. But I think I would just... Hmm, it's going to be interesting. I need to think about how to approach it, because I could either instantiate every single text, or I could use a single text and then try to find some way to fade it out. And it could work, but at this point, again, having... Sec, let, me, let, let, me, let me think about it for a sec. All right, I think I do know how to do it. So I'm just going to open our um, GUI. <laughs> Let's stick with that pronunciation for a while. Um, I'm going to add a new object here and create a space for our console. Uh, oh, it's already here. Notifications. Yeah, there we go. So how I imagine it is that this is going to be like a wine liner, one liner. So there is uh, only like one line uh, appearing at notifications, such as plus 15 XP uh, class D terminated. I would make it unwrapped so it goes infinitely. If someone messes up with the translation, it's gonna go out of the screen, but at least we're gonna make sure that this is a one liner. Uh, I could lower the maximum width to like a hundred to have like a solid uh, block. And I want to give it a vertical aligner. With lower center, just like that. And now when I create multiple uh, lines, you can see that this is getting aligned, but I should probably get... I should probably get it... Uh, how do I make it so there is no expansion? Oh, I guess this. Get more spacing. Let's change the font. Just like that. Spacing could be... Like this. Oh, can I make it so when it appears it gets smaller? I can't, can I? Oh, I can. It actually is gonna work like that. So it should start at negative... So whenever a notification is showing up, it should start at negative spacing. And then it should grow to its own size. I'm trying to visualize it in my head and then start typing. So this is what the animation is going to look like when I disable Gizmo. Uh, we have a notification, we have two notifications and then this is going to rise, a new one is will appear and a new one will start typing. And then another notification gets created. Um, so it starts at negative value and then it slowly appears and begins typing. So that could work. That seems like a uh, reasonable approach. Um, uh, being 079 with a new player plus no mic isn't fun or fair on you. 
Um, that is true. The solution to that is having a microphone. <laughs> like, I, I do realize that this isn't probably the best solution, and I, it's certainly not something that that we are going to keep like that. There's actually a few features that we do want to uh, that we do want to include in that patch to uh, improve communication for people with no microphone. Most notably, a pinging system so 079 can just like ping a location same way you can do it in i don't know counter-strike global offensive or other games like portal 2 co-op mission for example uh, when you have portal 2 co-op you can ping a location where, where you want someone to put it put their portal um and yeah that is something that we want to do for 079 as well However, it is a stretch goal, so I'm not... I can't tell that this is something that we will have... Like, we don't have a working prototype, so it's not... I'm not sure if that's something I'll be able to implement. Uh, imagine playing 079 without mind. Did I say mind? I, I wanted to say mic. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for the... Uh, cheers, I guess? That's for the bits or whatever it is? I'm not sure if that's something you thank for. Like I said, I'm not <laughs> I'm not quite new to streaming on Twitch. Uh, but we're keeping this stream in English for now. Um, Alright, let's go back to the stream. Uh, oh, that seems to be okay. Alright, so... The way I want to do it is I want to have a pool of notifications. And I should probably create a custom pool because this whole system is already in a pool, isn't it? Probably yes. So hold on, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Let's just begin with um, creating a new script, and we'll start from there. Offline for client would disable AC and off with centrals. Alright, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure there's like an ongoing discussion in the chat between <laughs> chat members. So let's change its name to SCP-079 uh, notification system. Or just GUI. That should be fine. Let's give it a description. Oh, did I forget to rename it? Yes. Um, Let's give it displays notifications. Very cool animation. Okay. Um, do we want it to be a string? I suppose we could make it as a queue of strings. That could work pretty well. Um, so let's import or let's use a uh, system collections generic. And with that added, we could create a queue of strings. Queue mm. the messages. Right. Uh, just join, what are you working on in the stream today? Uh, I am working on SCP-079 interface right now. It's a development stream, relatively boring stuff, so... <laughs> Don't worry about that. I mean, I, I am showing some uh, cool stuff every now and then, but yeah, it's mostly a technical development stream, so... Uh, targeted for programmers. <laughs> and people who just want to see how it works. But yeah, um... Watches you with fancy notifications, exactly. But you had a text chat. Text. Like, Alright, I would like to keep this stream on the topic. Like it's on the topic of SCP-079 and well, game dev in general. I would rather avoid answering questions in regards to uh, future features. If that's fine.
right so uh where did i end all right that, so we need to make a queue that's fine let's create another queue of text um A text pool this is going to be our pool because queues are actually more effective than stacks normally i would use stacks this is what stacks were are meant for but queues are generally faster than stacks it's not by much but it's always something um and am i missing something no i think we're good okay so the first thing that we gotta do is to create a method that will allow us to add a notification mm -hmm. um void and this will simply enqueue the notification and then we'll check an update if there are any notifications left. Um, hmm. oh, I do wonder how I want to make the animation first because it would be nice to have some sort of maybe coroutine that could uh, write the text. I haven't done coroutines in a while now. But I suppose that could work. Mm. Or maybe not. I have a better idea. I'm gonna make an index. Mm. Text typed. And let's just uh, try to peek if there are any messages. If queued messages count equals zero, then we don't want to do anything. Although there is probably something that we should do, and that is um, to fade out remaining text. Damn, that's difficult, actually. You know what? I, I feel like a better idea would be to create a separate um, script that would control individual text and we would just spawn that text into the... Um, into this, essentially. So, I guess let's do it. Uh, 079 notification... So this is going to be the text itself. Uh, let's create a void setup. Content. And that should be fine. Now we want a stopwatch probably to see how long it takes some diagnostics stopwatch um. Let's just record the current time. Be even easier and faster. So our start time will equal to current time. And uh, what this script is gonna do is just, now, now we just need to make the text appear on the screen. So I'll keep the last index in uh, a variable mm -hmm. 
And I'm not sure if I want to... Well, I could just use a substring, I assume. Let's cache it as well. Gonna be a bit faster, I'm assuming. Content length. And now we're, we're gonna do an update. Why is update not working? All right, it is. That was weird. It wasn't showing up in the suggestions. Mm. And we're gonna have a bunch of constant variables here. Let's create private constant float words per second or letters per second. And let's just do I don't know, 50 for now. And load elapsed equals to current time uh, since the time has passed. So that's the current time that has passed. And int target letters equals to elapsed time letters per second. And we're gonna round it to int. Should be fine. Uh, now there should be a little um, animation of where it uh, where it begins to to get its full size. So I'm gonna get private constant uh, load um, fade in time, and let's do like 0 0.2 seconds. I'm kind of guessing right now. Uh, so this is the amount of letters that we're supposed to type in. Let's get that. Uh, oops, that's fine. Um, zero. Oh, can't type. Um, I should just make 079 like lore accurate one to be fair. Yeah, lore accuracy is definitely the best way to make a very nice, balanced and enjoyable game. Because as we all know, SCPs on the wiki have been written in a way that would make a great game. Because that was their primary focus, every writer on SCP wiki is always thinking about how to make, how to write this SCP in a way that Hubert can just make a lore accurate SCP in, in, in SCP SL. That's, that's exactly what, what every writer is thinking about when they write a new SCP. <laughs> okay, so, uh, reference to our text. Realize field private DM pro text 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 equals to uh, string substring or what was that? It was uh, content substring. Yeah, uh, starting the index and target letters. Fine. Um. Now we need a floats um, initial size private float uh, target size and for the first fade in time we want to create a Okay, that's a hundred, so we're gonna create a new vector two with the size, and the size is going to be math lerp between so the linear interpolation between uh, initial size and the target size as a value of currently elapsed time divided by fade in time. And this elapsed time needs to be... I'm gonna clear up the code in a bit because it's kinda ugly. I'm gonna remove the fade in time. So let's do... Uh, let's 
Let's clear that up. Load elapsed um, typing, I suppose. And that should work. And everything else seems to be right. Let's just make um, target size as a separate variable just to make it nicer. And there we go. That should be working now. If I'm thinking right, there's no fade out for now. So when I spawn a text, it will just uh, remain here in indefinitely. I'm not sure that's something we want to do right now. I feel like, like it's time to just test if it works. I mean, I still need to figure out a way to spawn this uh, system, but it shouldn't be a big deal. So I'm just going to do serialize field private. Um, there we have the text pool and let's make this text pool of that type okay there's the add notification thingy that is fine we don't need anything here so we can remove that so now if we fail to enqueue the text And we need to create a new one. In the template. Uh, sorry for not looking at chat, I'm just focusing. Um, one moment. Okay, seems to be seems to be alright. And we're just gonna have pulled in it. Oh um, or setup. Okay, uh, notification. And that should be it. That should be working now. Let's get it let's give it a way to actually test it. So we're going to create a new update and if input get key down uh, key code, what key should we have? Uh, just for testing purposes, let's do J. I don't think it's used anywhere. Uh, when I press J, we should add a yo. Oh. Okay. Mm. What am I missing? Oh, add, notific add notification. And for now, let's just do. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna copy one of the random messages from chat. Congrats, modded PC player one. Your comment is now being added as a debug. Uh, <laughs> I have to imagine the performance hit for free strings with some logic is not likely significant. I do disagree with you that it can be improved, but for now on POC... Yeah, uh, so the thing is, obviously, part of the refactorization is not actually optimization. It's mostly, like, programmer's um, convenience. Because what we're doing right now, it really doesn't matter if we're using, like, a redundant substring or whatever. Like, this, the, the string processing of something that's only going to happen once at, the, at one time, it's really not that much of a performance saving. And this is making for an overall more clean code, which can be then uh, edited by other programmers. So, like, any programmer can look at this code and it has, like, 40 lines of code and it can be easily understood what's going on here. Uh, no notification. <laughs> I would like to say uh, no documentation required, but it's only because I didn't put it yet here. It is going to have documentation, and yeah, well, there is no point in trying to 
optimize things that are only making a difference if you're making like a super calculator or whatever. Yeah, it's better for later updates, yeah. Other programmers can simply... Um, yeah, we're not trying to make optimal code, because even if we had perfectly optimal code and get the game running 10 times faster, uh, the execution time of code, then we still have 80% of the execution time of the frame time, or even 90% is rendering. So, like, even if we made a super optimized code that takes zero milliseconds to execute, we're still only going to get about 20% more FPS. And it's at this point just easier to give up on, <laughs> on that idea and simply continue making code that is more readable than perfectly optimized because, again, perfect optimization of code is not really making much of a difference. It's more about avoiding spaghetti code instead of uh, making code that is most optimal. 20% is a lot. Oh, it certainly is a lot, except that 20%, like, it's actually not in uh, string calculations or anything like that. It's things about, like, physics calculations or uh, ray casting, like, detecting different kinds of uh, collisions, trying to look if something is gonna fit or not. Phys uh, like, string operations in the entire game is maybe like a, I don't know. <laughs> It's less than 0.1 percent. Most of the uh, mo most of that 20 percent is actually things like physics, audio, distance calculations, things that can't really be optimized because we're talking about squared root uh, operations. Um, and yeah, 60 plus 20 percent is 72 FPS. So we would get 12 more FPS on a, on a regular 60 percent if there was no code being executed <laughs> and again like even if we perfectly optimized it then i don't think we would get it lower to uh, lower than like 15 percent maybe 18 percent more more uh, realistically so we're only talking about like two percent gain for making the game more difficult for programmers to develop Alright, uh, I am missing something, right? I didn't apply this code. I didn't uh, apply the components. Because Unity is always adding like ton of different overlays that uh, uh, made the thing slow. Like we have the whole... I actually yesterday had a problem with serialization system in Unity uh, where I ended up having... Because for whatever reason, when you ser serialize something in uh, as a serialized field, when you have a serialized field in, a, in an inspector, you can set a value, and then if you rename that field, that field because Unity stores it in a string, in a well, in a, in a text file, uh, it is going to lose that reference. But it's not a big deal because Unity keeps its cache on your local machine, and that's a big deal because uh, all, now if you're going to build that game and send it to QA testers to to, to test if it works, they're gonna give you. Uh, completely different answers than you expected because it worked perfectly on your end but it doesn't work on their end at all and none of the it doesn't work for any of them and it's like difficult to debug because i can't debug it on my pc because it works on my pc so i need to either send it to someone else <laughs> to test or clear the cache every uh, well i didn't even know that it was cache problem before so yeah i ended up making a development build using our remote uh, continuous integration builder and I had to connect it with uh, Visual Studio with that Unity uh, debugger thing. Like it's a, I spent like two hours trying to fix something that was just caused by the fact that I temporarily renamed one variable. Um, so, yep, there's that. I'm not sure why I'm complaining about it. Uh, I, sh I should have known better. <laughs> All right, so let's get the notification or notification. I'm not sure. Um, that's the system. I need to rename it probably. Let's give it give it as a template here. Oh, we need to first assign text. Initial size is gonna be negative twenty. Target size is gonna be fifty. 
let's get it here and i feel like i'm missing something oh yeah i am um Have you guys tried to update the project to a newer Unity? That is actually something that we are actively doing. We're going to switch to uh, 2020 or 2021 Unity. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure 2021. Because yeah, 2019 is a bit of a problem, especially with the C Sharp version. Like with the CCM refactor, I have so many um, is comparison and having is not would be so great. Like you have this and it's not a big deal because it looks nice. But when we have... Um, where is it? Mm. I don't know where it is, <laughs> but um, I actually can't find it. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm talking about the is not uh, keyword, which doesn't exist in the current version of C sharp. Okay, so this seems to be working. Uh, let's see the text. Yo, it worked. I got an exception. I'm not sure what happens. Oh, sheesh. Uh, <laughs> I was referred to a location within the string. Oh, I didn't do negative one, did I? Oh, I didn't cap the value at, at its length. Yeah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Well, we can ignore that exception for now. Oh, something weird is happening. Okay, so it pop-ups for a millisecond up here. And then it changes. Probably because we need to make it uh, changed in a way, but... Hey, it seems to be working. It actually looks pretty well. Pretty much nailed it. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing is that I... Something that I removed because I thought it wasn't necessary, but now I remember that it is. So length needs to be measured. And we need to cap that length at um here are your letters i'm just gonna do something like that okay let's get this rounded up That is fine. And let's get this capped here. Math clump. This value between 0 and length. Length or length negative 1? Uh, length. Yeah, length. Because start index and the amount of letters to type. Right, that's perfect. Um, yeah, that looks good. And what was the other thing? Oh yeah, the, the issue with the spawning of the thing. Um, honestly, I feel like this could be res uh, fixed by setting the initial size of the pooled object to negative 20. Let me see if that's the case. If I take the template and when I set its size to negative uh, 20, it should be fine. XML docs with server builds pretty please. Uh, we did think about it, yeah. We we did have plans to include our documentation uh, within server builds. Probably we will do that. It's not as in like exclamation point uh, equals to. No, it's not as in. Holy shit, give me just a sec. <laughs> Need to find one of the scripts that is actually. Uh, Oh, well, I really thought we have more of those. There's gonna be plenty of this. Mm. I don't 
damage roll. There we go. So we have this part. If current roll is 079 roll. And what Visual Studio is suggesting me to do is to use the pattern matching. So like this thing is not SCP-079. It looks way nicer uh, than putting exclamation point and then everything in brackets. But it's not currently available in the in the current version of C-Sharp that Unity 914, uh, 914, 2019 supports. Unity 914, yeah. Okay, um... What did I want to check? Oh, yeah. Nice! Looks good. We need to make it a bit faster. And probably add a little sound to play with it, with that. Looks good, honestly. I didn't expect it's actually gonna look so good. I, and yeah, I need to adjust the, the visuals of it, but it's the, the system seems to be working pretty well. Make it faster if there's more text. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna make it faster in general, because uh, I wanted this, this effect to be like very subtle. Um, the words per second is 250, so like even three times, maybe like 120. And the fade in time needs to be much faster, like 18 milliseconds. Should be fine. Mm. Remove that. And let's get a different uh, text for now. I'm gonna make a. I make something terrible, but I want. <laughs> I just want to have it for testing purposes. All right, I need messages in the chat. Put something here interesting in the chat, and it, you you have a chance to. So uh, while I'm doing it, put, put different messages in the chat. I'm gonna uh, select a few and add them. Hmm. Let's get the font size to like smaller, like sixty percent of its size. 21 seems nice. <laughs> Lorem Ipsum, yeah. Mm. Okay, so I have Orem, Orem Ipsum. Uh, let's do Orem Ipsum, what's, why not? A bit long. Okay, uh... Shut the hell up, Automod, perfect. Thank you, Turin. Uh... Cocktailman Engineer. Surface update when, that's better. Come on, I need the longer one. When Pink Tutorial best update, okay. Will you be able to spawn cameras? No. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> um, let's get one longer one to see how it looks. Alright, I have enough. Will it, will it be possible to customize notifications? No, because notifications are gonna be client-side since they're gonna be read, read from the translation files. So this is just a client-side method that is going to be triggered by a server-side uh, RPC. But this is a client-side method. The actual text drawing is not custom. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, that looks good, honestly. I feel like it's pretty cool. Yep, looks pretty cool. Uh, now we're gonna make it... Um, give it slight... Uh, like... Um, what do we call it? Uh, like the fade out. Over time. So it should be fine. 
yeah. <laughs> Fade out and probably some kind of... Um, I'm thinking how to make it because I want it to fade out faster if you have more notifications so you don't end up... Huh. Okay, uh, how many notifications can we like feasibly fit here? Uh, where is our ad? And we said the reasons for the notifications already, but what will they be used for in the update? Uh, this is the notifications of like... Uh, this is what it is currently uh, used as a single line and notification. It is a bit problematic because it, uh, well, it, it takes a while to display all of those notifications. So this is replacing the current system. So like plus 15 XP, class D terminated, something like that. Uh, okay, let's see if I can adjust the height of it. Oh, forgot to disable this. Okay, I would do 14. And can I make it unclumped? Hmm. It would be nice if there was like an option. To make auto sized, like auto sized based on um, how many elements are there, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna bother. I feel like this is actually like not bad at all. <laughs> like having more than uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 notifications at the same time is pretty much impossible. You would need to kill the entire server within like 10 seconds. Which seems relatively uh, difficult to do, so I'm not sure if there is any point in even trying to make a, a system that would prevent it from happening. Especially since normally I want to have a slightly smaller uh, height, like... Height of 5 seems to work really well. Alright, yeah, I guess that's that, that's fine. Let's get the size smaller. The target size should be like about 20. Spacing could be lower, like 10. Alright, that's perfect. So the size will remain at, I'm going to make the size of 20, maybe like 18, the height could be 22. Alright, and now reduce the distance to like 4, maybe 5, 5 seems alright. a new template, change its size, reset the text, and now we should have a perfect thing. Yeah, the, the SCP-2521 uh, is just a placeholder, it's not in development. This, this, this placeholder text even existed before CCM Refactor started. Uh, some people even got that glitched in the game. and. Is that hey, yo? 
what is causing that? Oh, I didn't disable the content. Negative 20. Uh, negative, what was the spacing here? Negative 5. Yep, that seems fine. We're gonna give it a higher, uh, well, height. Yep, that is that is fine. I'm assuming. I can just give it infinite top. Yeah. Okay, that is fine. <laughs> Honestly, like that, that that's gonna be fine. Uh, because having so many notifications is pretty much impossible, so I'm just gonna give it like a 10,000 top margin, <laughs> which seems good enough to me. Okay, we have five. Target size, initial size minus 5, minus 5. Now, how do we want to handle the pooling? We could either do it within uh, here. Yeah, I suppose it would be better if we handled it over here. Um. Oh, yeah, sorry, over here. So the pool would remain just like that. Would make the... Start time a property. also be a property Seven-nine spawn with auxiliary power at zero out of hundred. No, uh, it is still not implemented. Don't worry about that. The start time seems to be working. Yeah, that's fine. So, how long do we want it to be alive? <laughs> Let's say six seconds. Seems long enough to read everything private constant float um fade out time or begin fade out time let's say six seconds and let's remove it at 200 milliseconds later Now we need a list or maybe a hash set. A hash set of SCP-079 notification text. Bond uh, texts. We're gonna add spawn text. Add this. Right. Uh, well, pulled. And then an update, we're gonna well, update all of them. Uh, I remember hearing that you learn how to code by reading your brother's coding books. Um, yeah, I mean, that's how I learned HTML. I'm not sure if that's meeting the definition of, uh, if that satisfies the definition of uh, programming, but... 
Have you considered asking him to help you with anything regarding the game? My brother is not a programmer. He just used to have programming in school. In high school. Like everyone does in, in, in Poland. Like programming is part of the education process. Um, so... No, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure like, I'm, I don't know, but I'm assuming he wouldn't understand anything what I'm doing right now. Hmm... Uh, what have you struggled the most during the making of SCPSL? Uh, there's a lot of things that programmers struggle with. <laughs> like, programmers, programmers' job is a we're program pro problem solvers, and this is part of the job solving problems. So, yeah, struggles happen every now and then. Like, it's inevitable. Yeah, and stack overflow is usually the the answer here. Uh, <laughs> make problems so you can solve it later. Guess what I'm doing right now? I'm literally trying to solve problems that I have been making for the past uh, four years. Or well, maybe not four years, but in the initial two or three years of the game. Grapes greater than strawberries. Uh, depends. <laughs> And grapes certainly make better wine. I'm a team cherries, if I'm being honest. Like, that's my go-to fruit. <laughs> What's in the two cups? What's in the two cups? Uh, this is my green tea. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. And I was also drinking uh, coffee before. So, uh... Now let's get a percentage of how long it took, so... Fade out rate. Get it text. Current time. Mm. Get an inverse lerp. Between... Begin fade out and remove time and the existing time current time uh... oh i would actually remove it from uh yeah i'm gonna remove this part remove what i did before and i have a better idea let's just create a property called elapsed And we could use that property in our own code because we're already calculating it. And that should be fine. And let's do a lapsed. And if fade out rate is god damn it greater or equal to we're just gonna make uh, lower than one and we continue otherwise text pool um mq our text and spawn text remove text um now this is going to be a problem isn't it because i'm gonna have to create a new because now I'm modifying the collection that I'm iterating through. Uh, should we do it on a list and try to make it like a skippable thing? I suppose we could make it a list. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit easier. Let's get a list. Should be fine. I could make like a separate hash set or then make uh, or try to make like. Uh, Find and remove something, some trick with link. I'm just gonna make the old fashioned uh, for loop. It'd be easier that way. Mm. So, spawn text. I elapsed. If the fade out rate is less than one, then continue. Otherwise, we want the uh, text pool 
to enqueue this part and remove at i and we're gonna do i minus minus it'll be fine so we're going like back in time because we're now removing one so it's added back later so we're repeating the same index right yeah it sounds right what happens if it's the only element then the count is one and nothing happens because it gets negative one then plus one and zero is not smaller than zero okay so that's gonna work am i missing something i could try to change its position back to the uh smallest one but this could probably be done from within uh this part over here uh, i would do on disable text rect transform size delta equals this and uh initial size um can't you just do while and increase the uh, interval but what difference is it gonna make like this is working quite fine like this is quite readable <laughs> we're just repeating the index after it got removed which like we have all the functionalities that we already need the initialization and the check we could make it a while loop but then we need to create a new variable outside the loop which isn't bad <laughs> i mean i suppose like is it making a difference i guess we could make it make we could make a manual for loop uh, that that works too honestly i preferred how the previous one looked <laughs> just by the looks of it i feel like this is more readable um okay so uh now let's get the uh color set um so we'll need another property um opacity and it's just gonna be a setter mm. was color lerp lerp between color white to color um from color clear to color white and the value um basic comment I mean documentation let's reset the opacity after it uh, gets disabled or probably we could enable it in the setup doesn't matter um fade out time and let's make a context i opacity equals fade out rate um and there's no point in trying to do that so instead let's just do transparency Right. seems good is anyone what are we coding we are coding 079 uh and yeah right now we're doing the notification system so a text that's just going to pop up over here when you kill a class d or whatever we have a bunch of uh <laughs> example test text over here probably gonna separate it because it's large too, a bit too large okay Uh, seems all right. Make sure I'm not missing anything.
Okay. Oh, let's go. Yo, Lisp, hello, welcome, and thanks for the gift. Right, let's see how it works. Good mm. more soundtracks. Uh, not sure if I can actually change anything on the go. Let's do track two. Why not? <laughs> Little swap of my theme elements, that's better. Oh, I can't see chat. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, are you going to destroy the instance when it's done? It's not getting destroyed, it's getting pulled. Uh, but I, just, I, need, I see what you're trying to say. Um, I should probably... <laughs> Fair point. I mean, you, you were wrong, but you made me think <laughs> about something that... Wait, no. You're wrong. Wait, no. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, set active false. It needs to be disabled. Uh, Lux symmetry. Ah, let it stay like that. I would love random music option that changes the menu music every time you boot up SL. Uh, yeah. Cool feature. Honestly, like, main menu is something that would require its own refactorization at one point. Um, this, well, for the same reason, we can't really implement in-game settings right now. These are, like, technically completely independent systems. This key bindings for options, for example, are... Uh, completely different system that wouldn't work outside main menu audio system uh, I believe those sliders are different than the sliders in the main menu they use completely different scripts they use the same value they, they read the same value from your disk but they are completely two different systems as far as I know so yeah it's a mess it's a giant spaghetti <laughs> Object reference not set to an instance of an object. And I forgot to disable it again. Okay. Yo! Is it gonna fade out? Yes, it is! Damn, it's looking good! Oh! Where is it? Oh, I can immediately tell that things that are pulled are not getting spawned in. See, I need to press I need to press uh, J's enough to overload the uh, pool because for whatever reason it's not being set up. And why is that? Is that because it literally does not exist, or is it because? Oh, oop, forgot to change that. That menu was straight up CB asset. Uh, that menu? No, that, that is our menu. <laughs> like, or are you talking about the projector room menu? Yeah, it was a CB asset. Like it. It's not like it's a big issue because the majority, the focus point of that menu was the projector and the screen, which was ours. It was a CV asset in the main menu, but I would say that the 95% of the actual main menu was ours, considering that the content, the projector was ours and the content on the screen, that's what the most important bit is. So the only CB part of it is like badly lit room <laughs> that was barely visible. So I wouldn't say that this would be a big problem to keep the CB room as the main menu, although if we wanted to bring it back, we'd probably make our own one. Uh, 
the, con the, the projector room was impractical because you couldn't fit any of the actual options in the menu. Oh, will I ever remember to disable the template? Okay. Okay, and now it's disabled. Let's see it again. Oh, uh, right. So the text needs to be reset, that's for sure. And the position in... The position uh, over here needs to be changed as well. Okay, that is going to be quite expensive. I mean, it's not super big because it's only in the uh, notifications here, which isn't a big deal. Uh, let's clear the, clear the text, because that's important. Okay. And in the setup, or in on disable, or wherever, I need to make sure that the objects get instantiated uh, as the last child so hmm. transform set oh yeah set as last sibling oh that's not bad so there is a method for that that's 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 good and let's set it before it gets enabled but it lacks Symmetry, right? Triggers my OCD. Probably doesn't matter because uh, it's called it's called within the same uh, frame. I love the new SCP-079 power and tier bars. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you still using that 12 years old Novox NC1? I am using a newer version of it. Uh, it's a black version, but I still have the old one uh, somewhere here. Yeah, oh, I've got this. Wait, I'm gonna start it so it loads. There it is. <laughs> That's my old uh, Novox here, my first mic. It's a bit rusty, <laughs> but it's still here as my secondary in case it breaks. But you can see it's all rusty and dented. Oh, I had some dropped frames. For a while, I hope I didn't lose anything. Is the stream working fine? I think so. I only dropped 200 frames, which is like... Uh, I don't know... Two seconds. <laughs> oh, give me just a sec, gotta put it back over. Where is it? I regret putting it out now. Guess I'm not closing that drawer anymore. Oh, there it is. Alright, <laughs> I regret putting it out. But now I'm good. But I can type in dot. My password is a dot, by the way. That. That, that that's it. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I forgot to disable it again. Please tell me it's gonna work now. Yes! Ah. Send that one to me, Hubert. Sure, Lisp. Alright, we need a new uh, real fake uh, notification. Come on, chat. Come up with, come up with uh, cool messages that can be displayed over here in the notification bar. Oh, right. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna fix that template and set the size of it. Why is everyone typing Am Among Us is dead? I mean, the jokes about Among Us are not funny anymore. Just kidding. Uh, but yeah. Uh, uh, size top negative 10,000. Height 500. And temple template disabled. Okay, we have more shit posting with <laughs> All right, 12 people. Uh
Let's get this to work here. I don't think it's gonna work, but let's do it. <laughs> Alright, perfect. We need some actual... Uh, plus 50... Alright, perfect. I need more of, of those. Something that looks real. Something that's gonna look like a real uh, 079 notification. Because I wanna test it if it works fine. Uh, if it's working fine. So we're gonna have this one. Um... Didn't even type. Um, okay, this one is fine. Okay, you need to stop <laughs> posting tutorial quotes. <laughs> but there we go. I'm just copying random messages in the chat that don't seem like racial slurs. Uh, that should be fine. Oh, copy. Minus 20 social credit, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, Okay, that is fine. Should be should be enough to get like a good idea of how the notification system is gonna work. and second tutorial quotes later all right guys don't mind oh if you do mind then we have a problem but i'm gonna make some tea so you're gonna hear my loud kettle in the background for the next a minute or so i hope it's not a big problem i'm just gonna mute myself i'm just gonna present everything here So what do you think? Honestly, I feel like it could be a little bit bigger. Because it seems that the numbers are... Uh, the numbers are looking pretty small. If I'm being honest. Yeah, make the text bigger. I was, I was thinking about this too. Yeah, it looks too small, I agree. Alright, um... Uh, hold on, is that a... Yeah, whatever. So, let's get the text bigger. To like, 21, I guess. Or even bigger. I don't know. Is it big enough? Seems... Seems good. Like, now I can actually read the text. This is what it looks like before and after. Like, this size is good enough. Microphone is skydiving. Yeah, I know, I said I'm making my tea here. Oh, have my water. A very, um... How do you call it? Like, the water is not clear. <laughs> um, like, it's full of... Uh, I don't know, calcium or whatever it is. Tap water, yeah, I'm not using filtered, I'm using regular tap water, and it's, uh, like, hard, I, I'm assuming is the word? 
You got to my PC, yeah. <laughs> Just slowly boiling my water. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, my PC is over here and my cuddle is here. It's a safe distance away, at least like what, seven foot. <laughs> uh, do you have anything for 079 StarTube or is that gone? It's not added yet because I'm not gonna add something that's gonna slow down my testing. When I get into testing, I want to be in a testing environment. I can just join in, set my class to 079 and I can begin testing. I don't want to force myself to watch a 10 second intro every when I want to test a new feature. So things like that are getting added towards the end. Um, so yeah, is that size fine? Do remember that if you're watching it on stream, there is some minor compression that may look uh, weird for you, that make, may make it less readable for you. I do believe having it slightly bigger could work, like 24, three more, more points. I'm just gonna increase the spacing a little bit as it goes. Seems pretty good. Yep, looks cool. I feel like this size is good enough. It's actually a bit bigger than the actual axis tier. I'm, I'm pre pretty sure I'm just gonna keep it like that. Yeah, 21 was fine. 21 is even bigger than the axis tier here, so that, that that's good enough. Okay. Let's do 22. I compromise between 21 and 24. 22, not 23, alright? <laughs> um, so... 22. Let's get the... Spacing slightly bigger, like 6. That, that should be fine. Will the Blast Candy come back again? It is in the game. Some servers have it enabled in their mods, so... Yeah. Um, not fun for both sides, true. <laughs> but yeah, it is in game. Oh, I am... I'm losing frames again. Am I, is, is the stream dying? Like, can you even notice that the stream is slowing down or something? Or is it, is it fine? Because I can see that I'm losing certain frames. So do tell me if it's fine. It's not. Oh, okay. The OBS is lying to me. <laughs> All right. Um, so honestly, like the entire agenda for this meeting for this uh, stream is over now. Uh, but we could do something else in two hours. Uh, I think I'm gonna make like in one one more hour just to to get get you guys some content. But I I feel like we did something. We did quite a lot of progress at least so far, and I think we could uh, use that fact and continue doing it. All right. Uh, let me reorganize the method slightly and add documentation where needed. Oh. Uh, spawns a text that slowly and then well, shows a notification well animation so i'm kind of uh copying the documentation up here and i'm gonna change this part as um oh i could that. Mm. How, how do I even describe it? What does this do? It's like a full controller for um, Alright, 
that seems good. We make it as a static method for easier usage. I'm assuming we could. Especially since that's a client side method. So yeah, let's let's give it a, a singleton. Let's give it a static method here. And create a singleton like that. Private static mm, here. Wow. how it looks i don't like how it looks let's make a private method Okay. Are you ever going to feed me in your basement when you get a chance? Sure thing. When I get the chance. I hardly ever get a chance, but if I do, I promise. Uh, Capybara SCP. We should make, uh, if we ever make SCP-939 rework, we should make uh, Capybara as the model. If Lisp gets fed, I want food too. I'm sorry, we only have enough food for one, maybe two people. One of them is me. <laughs> um, Happy Vara skin for 939. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I'm gonna... I'm gonna ruin myself. I'm gonna go bankrupt because I'm gonna add Happy Vara skin in a CPSO and I'm gonna buy it and waste a ton of money on Steam fees and taxes. <laughs> Perfect. With glowing eyes. So, uh, how, like, I'm not even sure how to make a new... Oh, I, I know what to do. There is the command, and there's actually a glitch in that command that we should fix first. Uh, the command that I was showing at the beginning that allows me to add XP. Uh, it currently shows a debug message in the game console. But now we can finally move it onto the proper system. So when I first start, activate it, disable my console, set myself as 079 and use the command at 079 XP. And let's do 50. Then it just says 255 unknown. And what does that code mean? When I put it like 3, it still shows the same. 255 unknown. The heck is that, right? Well, it is the add xp command here it uses the grand experience and this is currently um, in xp queue yeah that is here mm. how soon is this being executed how quickly Mm -hmm. I can immediately tell that this is not going to look good. I'm gonna make a private bool value dirty and set the value dirty as true.
in here an update why is it so weird where is update uh if Okay, value dirty, that's fine. And now I need to set this part, move it below, because for whatever reason, this is not organized based on the accessors, which is very problematic. Not problematic, but it's annoying me. <laughs> Can you look at it not being correctly organized? There we go. Let's add one more enter here. It's separated from the properties. Is the value set back? Of course it's not. Good thing I checked it. Alright. Um, and let's see why is it not uh, working over here. We're gonna test it in a while. I just wanna see if whatever I just fixed is still gonna work. <laughs> it's still gonna be broken because maybe I just magically fixed it. Uh, thank you, I can't say your nicknames, but thank you for the subs. Redson and Yuxo Off. Thank you for subs. <laughs> One minute and two minutes ago. I really should get better at doing those streams because... Yeah. <laughs> the music sounds like Among Us. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know if it does. It was made before Among Us was popular, so... Um... Okay, so it still says 50 unknown, and now we're gonna use the magic tool of Unity Debug and see exactly what's going on, what's being written and what's being processed by the client, which results in this thing. In this thing. So, when I use the add xp command, there, uh, I'm gonna get a little card here and type in data that is being written, and then we're gonna check if it's being read. So, first thing first is being written the value of total xp. Hmm. Okay, that is correct. 100. So we have a UN16 with a value of 100. And then we write one byte and one byte, right? Yes, so we have one byte and one byte. One is the reason, what is deck key? key zero and zero, right? Uh, yo, thanks for the sub. Uh, why is we're pulling it? No U cards. <laughs> I don't know. And let's continue. So we are reading UN16, which is correct. So I'm giving it a check mark. Skipped. And now the position is 2 and the length is 4. So we have 2 more bytes to read. 1, 2. And why is that a problem? Because now we have both... Zero and... what? Why? We have four and... Z okay. So we read two bytes. I'm confused. Uh, let's do back our reader. Two, one, four 
sides. 4, 100, 0 and 4. No, wait, 0 and 4. Four and two hundred fifty-five. I don't get it. Let's see what value is getting assigned when I do byte b equals to reader read byte. Probably gonna get a. I don't know. I'm actually not even sure what I'm gonna get. Why red alarm room in entrance zone is called end roof? This information is important for me to know. Because it's a room that's at the end. It's the end room. The dead end room. Oh, it says end oof. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> Yo, what's up, killers? Oof, because it's a death sound in Roblox. Actually, yeah, but like, I'm pretty sure, like... Back when it was being created, Oof was still a meme, and that's probably why it got a name right like that. So yeah, I'm assuming <laughs> it was actually a reference to Roblox. Which was a, well, meme back then. Back when people didn't treat Roblox seriously. Oh no, why is it not... Oh, it wasn't attached to Unity. No! But hey, at least it crashed, which is good. I got soft lock, right? I got soft locked. Uh, wasn't attached to Unity, but... That is weird. Where did that value come from, then? I'm so confused. I need to take a closer look at, 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 at what's being written in the... in the value here. sleep tonight now thank you mr hubert no problem in the trivia section Okay, perfect. So, we're writing the zero, fine. Oh, yeah, I forgot. God damn, alright, so that's a bit problematic. Uh, I'm gonna write one more byte. Hmm. Oh, I have a better idea. What if we just write the amount of text that's being written and then just iterate based on the text? So I'm gonna write one more time. Uh, I'll do... Writer write byte. Mm. And let's write... The amount of experience in the queue it's gonna be count and we want a byte a byte max value Alright, that's fine, and now we need to have byte uh, count equals reader read byte. Now we can just. Oh, come on. We can just iterate for the count. So it's like one extra data, one extra byte of being synced, which isn't much, but it should work pretty well, all things considered. It's probably a better way of doing it, because we don't, we don't have to check the exact length of it yeah should be fine gun train gone I, I don't know what the train even was <laughs> I'm so bad at streaming hmm 
Mm. Yeah, it's still 079 being worked on. We're trying to get the notifications ready, the synchronization of notifications, because right now I'm just getting some weird results. I'm, I'm just debugging network thingy. Okay, let's now assign it to editor. And let's see what's gonna happen when I do add 079 experience 50. We are writing 50. That's perfect. Then we are writing 1. Perfect. And then writing it once as well. Nice. You're reading the amount, which is 50. Correct. Count, which is 1. And then we have the Translation ID, which is 4 and 255, but why? Oh, I see. Stupid. Alright, I'm stupid. I see exactly what was the problem. Let's undo everything I was writing. Uh, I'm missing something? No, that's good. There. Instead of max, it should be min, as in minimum. And now we have the unknown, and this is probably because I don't have my uh, translation set up. So I gotta do to. I gotta go to uh, translation temp translations English. O seven nine had. Uh, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. Be fine. Hmm. I'm not sure why it still says unknown, but... Yeah, I'm not sure why it still says unknown. It because the oh, of course oh. hard case sensitivity should it be max <laughs> yeah uh you just found a name uh you were just like a minute late because i was trying to figure it out for uh using the breakpoints and everything but yeah could have been here a minute ago <laughs> but yeah you found the reason it's happening There's a bug where it stays static for like a full minute. Yeah, it's gonna be fixed. Like, it's a, the whole code is being refactored, so... You can safely assume that every single bug that is currently happening with 079 will be gone, but we're gonna replace it with an equal amount of different bugs. <laughs> so, yeah, don't, don't worry about bugs that are caused by... Well, bugs. <laughs> because it's gonna be changed. If we worked. We're gonna get a whole bunch of fresh bugs for you to enjoy. Um, set 079, well, add 079 XP, 50. Boom! Plus 50 XP admin command, so that is working. Now we just need to make it uh, show up in the notification manager. Um, we're gonna make a... Uh, So that's the string notification, but how about we made make, make gave it how about we gave it a translation notification? A few options. I'm gonna do end translation ID. Uh, spawns a text that shows 
uh, with a specific string uh, with based on translation ID. So we're gonna have this, and it's just gonna be um, translation reader get translation key translation ID. And we also have string default text. And we're gonna have one more which will be formatted. Uh, get formatted index default values and format oh. I technically should make like it should be way faster if I made uh, because I'm pretty sure the string that format it actually uses the yeah it has one for one argument one for two arguments one for three for arguments and then one for four or more arguments or zero arguments not sure if there is point bothering Again, I feel like readability of the code is probably more important than minor performance boost of not having to allocate one um, string array or object array. Doesn't seem like a big deal, if I'm being honest. I would just keep it like that. Or is it formatted? Format. There we go. And now when we go to the year manager... Hmm. Notification manager. Where's the aux manager? XP command tier manager. Uh, there we go. So we'll do SCP-079 notification manager. Our GUI notification manager. Add notification. The translation ID. And the default text, which will be unknown. And the granted amount. Seems good to me. <laughs> you, you say that now, Hubert, but after a million other instances of one string not being whatever coding word you, you said, then maybe a small child may be harmed with their ex PC explodes. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose that's right. I mean, I do realize what people are trying to say, that I should never add, like, even, like, the smallest... Uh, that I should never skip even the smallest optimization opportunities, because... If I skip small optimization opportunities in every code, it will end up uh, in a relatively significant amount of performance gain overall in all scripts. But again, going back to the 20% argument where execution time of the game is relatively um, quick of the game's code. And we're talking about something that's not being called every frame, we're talking about something that's only being called when you gain XP. And if that happens, there is a ton of other things happening, like updating your interface, which calls methods that are not accessible to us because it's handled by Unity. And that method is probably like 50 times more expensive than any allocation of a string array. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you shouldn't you shouldn't over optimize, but I shouldn't worry about this. Every update method is on script. That, that's that's exactly what I do. If I'm talking, if I'm having a method that's being executed every frame, then this is something that is actually going to affect your frame rate. This is something that should be perfectly optimized. But what I'm doing right now is making it so that one frame is being executed by a nanosecond longer. Uh, because the notification was shown on the screen, because there was the extra allocation that had to be done. So we're not talking about like even if that took a long, even if it's even if the allocation took an entire frame, people wouldn't notice it because it's gonna be just one frame that's twice as long. People wouldn't even notice it. So like again, I totally agree with what said said Cedric said right now. Making it optimizing update methods totally agree, but optimizing 
methods that are only being called occasionally, like once a second or um, or, or shorter <laughs> or longer, I mean. And yeah, all right. Uh, so is it working now when I do add 079 XP 50? There we go. Plus 50 XP admin command. Perfect. There we go. A working notification system. Again, is it notification or notification? I think it's notification, isn't it? Nice. I like it. Sound for 079 moving. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I could show you how it looks from the third person perspective, assuming that my build is not old enough to cause any uh, complications. But I could show you how it looks from the third person perspective. I'm gonna die. Hold on. Uh, God mode. Good thing I made gave God mode. Um, so let's join. I'm gonna mute my background. Oh, god damn it! Forgot to round lock. Right. I mute the background music. Hopefully now the round lock is still active. Secondary. Mute this. And there we go. This is what it looks like. Oh. Obviously, when I, I'm probably gonna make it so it moves a little bit faster because when I do something like that, you can see it stays desynchronized for quite a long time because the we didn't want to have any kind of like slowdown on the first person, uh, but there is a limit on the third person, and this camera is super old and we wanted it to look uh, slow when it moves. But yeah, seems pretty cool. <gasps> stays alive. No! I left, I just found a bug. <laughs> when 079 leaves the game, the camera stays on. But why? Actually, it shouldn't. Isn't there like a system that even checks for it? Oh, Ooh, I know exactly what it is. Because the 079 instance is getting pulled back, but it's not being reset, is it? It's back in the pool. Hey, yo. Where did it go? Where's the 079 clone? That's interesting. The 079 instance completely disappeared. Does it mean that... Hmm. What is happening right now? When I go to the camera, which is gonna check every frame if it's still alive, here, does it mean that the 079 still has active instances that are null, but not null? Let's see. Uh, active instances, come on, get into that. What is wrong with it? I'm trying to hover over it. 
Why can I not see the list of the instances? What is that? Why can why can I not see the list of instances? It's not gonna work like that, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna mute it because Huh. That is interesting. Why can I not preview active instances? What is wrong? Is it because it's a static? That's weird. Yeah, I think like I can't I can't preview static fields, which is sad. I know what whatever, let's just see here. Um He said, so reset object is not being called when the object gets destroyed. That is not very cool. Can I stop an object from being destroyed? Because <laughs> it appears that when the player leaves their assigned role, this appears. I mean, I could at least call the res the reset uh, on everything. I'll figure it later. But it's good thing to know that we have found a relatively game potentially game breaking bug because the, the the camera staying active is just one example. But I'm not sure what happens if like I don't know people who who've been looking at one seven three disconnect. Maybe one seven three will still remain observed because the person you know like this is something like relatively uh, not harmful but it's potentially harmful uh, all things considered i mean ideally the the role should reset itself that is interesting um okay so yeah i'm gonna investigate it later type it in Connect. Okay. So I'm gonna make sure that this is being called. Anything else you can show us? Uh, not really. <laughs> not at this point. I did sh show a few things at the beginning of the stream. Uh, is there anything else we want to do for today? Or will we wrap it up and finish it for, for now? There are a few smaller... F is there anything we can do now? Because... At that point, I don't think there is anything to do. Uh, I feel like we have completed pretty much everything. The notification system is working quite well. Am I missing something? Did I forget about something that we could do for now with, that wouldn't require us to add an extra camera? Because we have the notification system, we have the... Yeah, it appears we have everything for now. Is there any public reason for why Nalor left SL Discord server? Any chance he might be joining SL Twitch streams ever again? Uh, probably, yeah. If we invited him, he would probably join. Uh, I'm not sure where he left SL Discord. Uh, probably just didn't play the game anymore, I'm assuming. There is no requirement for staff members to stay in the SL Discord, especially if we're voice actor and not like game developer, because you don't have you don't need to have any interest in the game to uh, be a good voice actor. Um, I am not allowed to talk about anything other, like, in the future. I feel like we're just gonna wrap it up for now. Uh, maybe answer a few more questions and end it for now. We did quite a lot of progress today with the notification system and... Uh, what else? There are a few things <laughs> we have done. The uh, UI for 079 thing seems to be quite good, <laughs> going well. And, and yeah, I'm not sure if that's something you want to do more regularly, or is it some, like I said, it was more of an experiment that the thing that I was doing today. So, yeah, have I tried Vider instead of Visual Studio? I 
generally like Visual Studio. I, I don't really have a reason to change it. I'll take a look. I'm not sure if Rider is. Uh, I, I I heard that Rider is relatively expensive. So yeah, I'm not sure if that's. Oh, my hair is breaking from the ponytail. <laughs> Is the vod gonna be saved anywhere? Probably, yeah. We probably am gonna. I'm probably am gonna uh, send it on YouTube. How much of 12.0 is done? It's hard to estimate. The human, like right now, the biggest problem is uh, re-implementing all the SCPs. So we have 079, 939, 049, uh, my, and I think that's it. Uh, a 0.96. So I can't really tell how much. But at least several more months. So there is that. We will be showing some teasers in regards to uh, one of the biggest features for 12.0 because it's not just refactoring. There is actually some some actual exciting features coming up, rather than simple improvements. But what it is and uh, well, all the details we'll provide later. Our voice refactor done. Are you mean the voice chat? Um, it is currently being worked on. Uh, the voice chat is currently working for humans and radios. It's uh, there's no voice chat, like there's no intercom and no death chat, like no spectator chat. Nice haircut, thanks. It's I still have my long hair. It's just in the ponytail, and I I realized that when I put my hair like that with my <laughs> headphones like literally yesterday then I look like my old hair haircut back when I was doing streams in 2017 but it's gonna be interesting <laughs> more nostalgic <laughs> to people who used to watch me but yeah hey Michael thank god no spectator chat well you can mute spectator chat from the game about elevators? Well, no changes, still works perfectly. <laughs> Gordon Freeman? Because I don't look like... Uh, Gaben? Or what, what, I'm not sure what you're trying to type. Ben. <laughs> New strat, drop a radio in a random spot in the room where it can't be seen easily, wait for SCPs to enter the room, play loud ass music. Exactly. It's not like SCPs can just mute voice chat. <laughs> yeah. And that the radio has a range of... I don't know, nothing. Uh, radios will have like small changes. I'm not sure if there's like any like the, the thing is SL is not as cooperative uh, or it's not like teamwork is not as rewarded as it should. I mean it is rewarded but it's not like enforced. It's not required to play in the game and I not, don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Like obviously people are not gonna be using radios for proper communications and teamwork they will most likely just you know uh, drop it or play shit pose on that radio I'm hiding in your walls right now where is Lisp? I don't know somewhere here I have a, oh, I have a knife <laughs> will player models have slight change or stay the same they have slightly different animations the character the new character models are still being worked on and it's definitely not getting added anytime Dude, weapons on stream, yeah? I'm not, I'm not gonna do something, but I have something here. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can actually show it here, but yeah. Uh, speaking of weapons, the toy knife. No, it's a real knife. I'm not gonna do any self-harm, but it is relatively sharp. I use it for my letters opening, but yeah, you can see it's been... Um, like uh, sharpened recently. <laughs> Cut your hair with stream. What is that? It's a it's a bayonet. It actually has a mounting port on a rifle, which is pretty cool. Um. 
I don't think Narlor left the studio. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's still in the Discord in the server. All right. Uh, I think we're gonna be finishing it right now, right here. How extendable is the new CCM system? I'm making my own custom classes API with Harmony, uh, but 12.0 will definitely break the whole thing. Oh yeah, 12.0 is certainly breaking everything. There's so much. Uh, there's one thing that we did in 12.0 is metrification. So any kind of distance measurements or anything like that, this is all gone. The hube is no longer hube. Uh, because if you don't know, uh, classes in game are. Well, I'm talking to plugin devs right now. You probably don't know, but if you're a plugin dev and you don't know that human height is 2.5 units in Unity, we call those units cubes. We scale it down to the point where it's 1.8, so it's like an average human size. Uh, and yeah, so uh, if you have any plugins that include any sort of distance measurements or if you do anything with primitives we're gonna have to rescale it accordingly so yeah no more hube the dev of hube at least we don't have imperial system exactly are the team classes gonna be a thing in vanilla or just a plugin thing so uh, i'm not sure if that's the thing but uh, if we're gonna end up doing it so no promises but we probably will have some sort of um, custom human role where you can put your own name and set it its own color and that color is probably even going to affect the appearance of the class so you can change the tint of the color the the, the albedo of, of the model and yeah rough estimate when the update release maybe late 2022 or early 2023 pretty sure it's still gonna be within 2022 but again no promises Imperial cube, yeah. <laughs> Where's the polar opposite of 096? Uh, mind reader answered the question while I was asking it. Nice. Patron beta in summer. Uh, can't tell. Can say that for now, adding the SCPs themselves will at least take two months. Plus, there's gonna be maybe a few more months of. Um, implementing the other stuff so yeah certainly not go coming out this summer but yeah uh once it does come out the game will be completely different so <laughs> feel free to take a break um and wait for new content well in the meanwhile we're actually working on a smaller balance patch with shotgun changes and it's gonna be added well, within a month. Released. Late summer or autumn? Probably, yeah. Again, no promises. Really difficult to estimate things like that because I know that 173 took me much longer than I thought, but voice chat took me literally like three days when I thought it's gonna take an entire month. So many things here. Uh, are coming slower while we expected them to go fast and there are many things that go fast despite them going slower 079 is roughly going according to plan right now i've been working on it since the uh beginning of this week and well the basic stuff is already done and I, it's just about making the cameras now and implementing the abilities okay uh last question how many legendaries do you have in Clash Royale? Okay, that's the real question. Will the patron update has patron beta? Probably not. Alright, I, I want a serious question at the end. But yeah, shotgun chain, the shotgun update will not have any patron beta. Can I be in the game? No, Lisp. Alright, that was the last question. Uh, so, yep. Yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, it was... Uh, really nice and I'm actually surprised by how many people <laughs> watched it I, I, I seriously assume that when I make this stream only like 20 people are gonna watch it because it's like again very technical for nerds by a nerd <laughs> so uh, yeah thank you for staying with, uh, with me <laughs> and see you another time bye and now where is the end card this one nope oh, not this one where is my ending card I don't know, I'm just gonna finish the stream, bye.